Oh god. That's not disturbing at all. Let's check the store. Bonus content. Okay. Bonus content. Infested. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of bonus suits. What the heck? All right, I want to see what the heck these suits are. Do I have to pay for them? No. The classic one? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. I want to see this. So if they, okay. I cannot complain about the suit if they include the original. I really can't. Like, that wouldn't be very justifiable to complain about the redesign if they literally give you the OG one. It's like they took the straight up model. It's not even like graphically improved. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wait, is it really the old textures? They didn't bother improving them? I mean... I thought they'd at least make the textures a little cleaner. No, they were like, we're just going to give you the old textures. Is it sad, though, that I kind of like this design better? <laughs> I kind of do. I don't like how, how, uh, how it doesn't look as good quality, but... I kind of like the design, because the design does look a little cheaper, especially the clothing underneath the armor itself. All right, let's check some of the other ones. I want to check each one of these before I decide how I want to look. <laughs> this one looks kind of kind of ridiculous. Are those hands? What? He stuck hands on his head? What? Why would you do such a thing? Wait, are they moving? No, they just move as I move. Weird. Okay, so this is like the Fallout version. <laughs> it's like, I feel like he's a Fallout Raider or something. Nice. Well, that's uh, interesting. I don't think I'm going to wear this one. It doesn't feel very dead spacey. Oh my god. I'm literally a zombie. How could you play the how could you use this one and play the game seriously, you know? It's like, yeah, I'm just I'm a zombie, Isaac. He's just immune. What the oh his skulls coming through there too? Yeah, you can see like a glowing eye. What the heck? I mean, I won't lie, it's it's kinda cool, but it just kinda takes some of the immersion out of it. Tell me if you if you disagree or not, but I just feel like if I was walking around like this playing the game, it would kind of like I don't know. Paying attention to the story while wearing that would just feel kind of weird. Well, this one looks pretty crazy. This looks like something that you would wear in Mass Effect Andromeda. It looked a lot like something for Mass Effect Andromeda. You know what would have been cool? Because it's it's all it it would have been cool if they had a like a Commander Shepard outfit. Like you could still have like uh, the like the mask that Shepard sometimes wears, but like uh, I kind of like this one. It feels very out of place in the Dead Space world because of how futuristic it is. But I kind of like it. Just the picture shows it as being blue, and it doesn't look blue, so that's kind of unfortunate. So this one, he's just bloody the whole time, I guess. I kind of like that. Because of how much you're fighting, this one kind of makes sense. Like, this one, I could see myself wearing this one the whole playthrough, just because I would, you know, kind of knowing that uh, you're fighting so much. Hmm. This one looks about the same as uh, some of the other ones, just a different color. Oh, it's got, like, uh, like etchings on it or something. Yeah, it's kind of just like a darker, darker armor, like a, a black or grayish armor. Huh. What do you guys think? Should I go with this one or should I go with the bloody one? I wonder if changing the suit changes how Isaac looks without the mask. That would be hilarious. Like if you change him to the, um, the original version, he's just like, he's a little more pixelated. 
in the face. Blood, yeah. It just makes the most sense to me. Very dramatic music. It reminds me sort of of uh, the General Grievous theme, and when you when he's like he's kind of introduced in certain moments of uh, Revenge of the Sith. Increases your inventory slot to. Oh, it increases my inventory. I gotta get this one. They're like Isaac, where are you? And he's like, I'm busy. Leave me alone. Isaac, are you playing in the wardrobe again with the clothes? No. I did no such thing. I did not. All right, great. So we are good then. Let's move out. What's on the menu? Oh, we can't read them? What a shame. Mm, I don't think we want to upgrade anything just yet. Let's definitely save after that. And I think, I think if the combat keeps being this easy... Actually, you know what? Let's just change it now. We are changing our difficulty. <laughs> We're going to go to medium. Oh, man. I'm going to regret this. What's stuck in this? Hmm. I don't think I want to know. Oh man, I don't like this. It's too quiet. Oh, sweet. We're definitely going to use this. So now we can use the Force. Which is great. I definitely liked using it in Callisto Protocol. It definitely felt like uh, Dead Space. Sounded like someone heard that. Oh man. I can sense it. There's gonna be an enemy. Got it. We fit through there now? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Good, good, good. As long as we can get out of here when we need to. What was that? You know what? I feel like before we move forward, we probably should um, upgrade our rig a little bit, give us some health, but we'll do it on our way back. Hopefully we'll survive. <laughs> Bye. They all came back. She's invincible. Does she have a hand stuck in her? Oh, the pulse rifle. I never really used this when I played back in the day. So, uh, I say we try it. See, see if it's any good. I know that back in the day, I was like, yeah, this isn't worth using. But maybe if we upgrade it. Because I, I, like I said on last time we played, or earlier when we played, is that I, uh, I always stuck to the plasma cutter. And then maybe, like, the force gun? 
I know most people, they love the line gun. The line gun is like their favorite. Um, I wish I had an extra hand down there too. On your chest? That's weird. That's weird, man. Chest hand. Are you one of those people who likes the sternum massages? You heard the story of the, the sternum thief? Station now accessible. Thank you for your patience. Yep. I wonder if there's like still a loading screen when you use the train or if they actually just you're actually just traveling now. I hope that's how it, I hope you're just traveling. I've got a bad feeling about that, what I'm doing. Isaac, have you heard from Daniels? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. And Cole could be through there if it... Isaac, the one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But Level two, security I saw him five. die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Uh, no crap. Maybe, really? Maybe they did it to keep something in? Yeah, let's stick with this for now. We definitely need to find an upgrade uh, box, whatever they're called. Ooh, yeah, let's save. Wait, we just saved. We don't need to save. Let's keep going. Welcome to the USG Ishimura Clinic. Now be scared by the, all the pictures of bones. I'm scared, guys. Think we can make it? I know better. Okay, okay, bad idea. We're switching away from the, the, the rifle. I'm starting to remember why I uh, never bothered with it. If I can get good at using the uh, force instead of using my ammo, that would probably be ideal. Do we have any small med packs? No. Oof. I heard one of them in the air vents. Oh man. Shouldn't there be a lot of health packs in here? 
you know, win in med lab. Combining plenty of ammo. Crap, I just accidentally used my large health pack. Wasted it. Damn it. That really sucks. I really, really, really wish I hadn't have done that. Alright, I guess we're moving on. I have a bad feeling about down there. I don't know why. I keep I, I may be remembering something that I don't fully remember. I just feel like something bad happens down here. So much money, so much ammo. Quarantine lifted. We got another large med pack, which is not what I would need. Okay, good. We have a small one. Tissue sample. Oh god. That scared me. I, I did not know what was behind me. You don't know it. To ignore my squeaky chair. People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. Experiments for unitology, for humanity. Of course, our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. Did you guys ever see the Dead Space movie? I'm pretty sure that Captain guy was in it. And I think Dr. Kine was as well. It's been a while since I've seen since I've seen it, but I think they were in it. All right, so let's read this. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifacts appear to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity, so I can get so I can begin a proper study. I cannot even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams. And that was without the benefits of current and analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my best. But I'll do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate in the darkest time of my life. The church and its, and its teachings uh, comforted me, saved me. And now I'm here in the right place at the right time to be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. It's like if that was an audio log. People are like, wait, why does this one guy who left this log use four different voices? It's a good question. I don't have an answer for it. Is 
That's right. You will play again while I'm gone. I wonder if you could distract the necromorphs using using those holograms. <gasps> they have slushies? No, they're fruit drinks. Of course they're fruit drinks. Sa okay, so guys, if you were here right now, you have to you're you have to have one of these drinks. It's a work meeting in this medical office and they're like, "All right, we're ordering drinks. What do you want? What are you picking? Saffron, rose, mango, or raspberry?" I'm assuming it's a cool drink, maybe a maybe a fruit smoothie maybe. What do you pick? I think I lean more either mango or raspberry. One of the two. I don't know which one. It's like, Vlad, you said pick one and you can't even pick one? Yeah, yeah. I can't even pick one. Maybe mango, but I prefer raspberry, but mango sometimes works. If it's like a like a vanilla-y mango, that might be really good. Sort of like a creamsicle, but mango. That could work well. Mango is one of those things that I, I actually love mango flavored things but I don't like mango itself copy to my secure terminal I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony it's remarkable to finally see what I've sought all my life the miners this transformation the divide death self Kyan is erring on the side of caution his faith has been shaken by these necromorphs as he calls them how strange when my own faith has been so richly rewarded, with or without kind, I must study one of these creatures. The next best thing, Brennan's patient, for example. So I noticed something weird in this bathroom. So this 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 stall. Well, first of all, where are the doors? Well, beside the fact that there's no doors, this stall is just there's just blood everywhere. Don't know what happened in there. Don't really want to know. This stall, it's like filled with rubber gloves. Why? Why are there so many rubber gloves in this stall? There was some guy who was like, I don't have time, or, or, or could have been a lady. There was some person who uh, was like, I don't have time to wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. I'm just going to wear gloves and then just rip them off when I'm done. Don't do that, by the way. But uh, that was her, her personal habit. Or his. You know. Who am I to judge? Alright. It's a necromorph! Got him! No more necromorphs here. They didn't stand a chance. Oh, it's his Brennan. Yeah, she's just hot. She's been hiding in here under her desk the entire time he's been gone. Patient log, Dr. Nicole Brennan, senior medical officer, counseling session number three, transcript for patient. <gasps> we're going to name redacted. Okay, so we're not violating our space hippo. So those space hippos can be happy. Dr. Brennan. Okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe. Thanks, it's just so hard to remember what's real. Your church mentor talked to you again? Wait, that wasn't a question. Your church, your church mentor talked to you again? He knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitology, unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks where they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Dr. Brennan? Sorry, I... Did something happen? I had a patient who... I tried. And her son tried. So hard. But she... I will fight for you. With everything I've got. But never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Alright. Moving on. Oh, the audio. Here we go. Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marcia continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. <gasps> She's gonna get canceled. Greek signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Greek location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. 
Side mission unlocked. Well, hell yeah, we're going to do a side mission. I can't reach the emergency room until I destroy the barricade. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to do that. I don't remember doing side missions in the original. So we're definitely not going to miss out on that. I kind of want to ditch the... Oh, we needed this. Good. We might ditch... Oh, but I could upgrade it. Oh, man. Should we upgrade the pulse rifle so that it's worth using? Because right now it's definitely not worth using. Or should we um, get our put all the points in our health? You think health? Yeah. I'm thinking health might be smart. I don't really care about the oxygen. All right, let's save real quick. Apparently I'm not going the way I'm supposed to go. Go figure. Oh man, those things are creepier than they used to be. I'm not a fan. Come here, young one. Where are you? Where did it go? There it is, okay. I see you down there. Don't worry, I'm coming. That's right. Brutal. Text log. Subject, clerical error. Zoe, specimen 426 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez to prep for medical leave, but when I checked the database, I saw a sin sable has been moved ahead of her. Is this right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a cornea. Okay. Here's your clerical heir. One of them bought CEC stock at the last purchase. One didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vital personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it. Trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates. Hippocrates. Shit rolls downhill. Zoe. Why does, why does Zoe have that voice? Who knows? What? You got a problem with my name being Zoe? Oh, God. I just realized what was next to me. That's not disturbing at all. What are we on? Camino? Oh, man. Where are you? I heard them. They're gonna be up here, aren't they? Nope, not gonna happen, not today. Oh, you son of a... Hasta la vista. Baby, right? No? 
Not, but no, it doesn't work. Okay. They have hearts and jars. I don't know if this place was above board, guys. I mean, I see a lot of people in tubes and in jars of hearts. This doesn't seem like your typical medical establishment. <laughs> Isaac Clark's like, we need to file a report about the medical ethics here. And he's like, are you sure that's your, your biggest priority right now? Like, with everything going on, that's what you want to do? And I was just like, yes. We If we don't have standards, then everything falls apart. That's how you have necromorphs, is when you let your standards fall. Emergency shower, yeah. Isaac needs one, but I think this blood is permanent. All right, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.